What's up guys? Back out in the woods tonight. Only got a small amount of light really before I have to start thinking about the fire and cooking up some food and things. So we're not going to try and work on the walls today. What we're going to work on is I have here a blade for building our bow saw. So I'm going to start doing, I'm going to actually work on making the bow saw um, tonight with you and then we'll get cracking and get a fire going, get some food cooking because it's not that cold today so I'm not getting the fire going until I need it. Alright, so let's get cracking with that. Alright guys, we've got this full oak I'm going to use here, so I'm going to cut that up. We can split that down and get that cut into the sizes we need for starting to make this framework for this saw. <laughs> Okay, so we've got our timber here, um, I've decided I actually don't need that much, so I'm only going to sort of cut it to about here, um, giving me a good amount for each arm, um, each side of the bow, and then I can use um, another piece that I've got over there that's got a bit of a bow on it that can come across the top of the frame here. So we'll get this one processed up and uh, go from there. So we've done a bit of rough work to these to get our uh, frame sort of started. I got a lot of clean up to do, a lot of um, processing, but what I want to do is get the general frame in place and then I can worry about sort of smoothing it off and getting it all pretty and comfortable in the hand and all the ergonomics and everything. But uh, first of all, I just want to make sure I get the frame all in place. That's it. I think that's us. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that's better. I just need to do one the other side the same. Should just about get this saw done, I think, um, before it gets dark. Yeah, we've got another hour or so, a couple of hours. Okay, so giving myself enough room here, I'm going to make a wee mark here, and that's what's going to cut the length of it there, and then I'll split it down, and we'll see what we're left with, To because um, we've obviously got a lot of material to work with to make it the same thing as this, but then we need to figure out what type of joint I'm going to do on either end. Alright, so I started to split it down. Didn't want to split very well, so I ended up having to uh, shape it myself. Um, 
I think it's because of the knots and things that's in it. There's a wee knot in the middle there that I can't really do a great deal with. I'm just going to have to work with it best I can. But uh, it'll be alright, it's good. I just need to carry on shaping it. Do it with you guys. Let me know if you find all this interesting or whether you, rather I'm working on like the camp and things but uh, I thought you had to uh, I had to at least film making the saw so in my head it's nice and interesting to see a tool being created from scratch. Okay so like you say, like you can see I've made the top piece said they need a lot of work you know they're quite rough at the moment but it's just trying to get a nice framework sort of shaped up um what i'll do is i'll steal a bit of charcoal from the fire from previous days find one that's gonna hold okay so um i want to get something roughly even But I also want enough clearance there for your bigger logs. Which I'd say, to be honest, from cutting anything bigger than that, I can uh, cut it and then work with the axe, can't I? There you go. Right, so that gives us that there. Now, we want to work out the V that we want to cut. Say something like that. Those two done, I've just got to do the other side of the joint, which is off of here. The reason I've done that is, like I said to you before, I'm making a pin that's on the inside edge of the joint there. It's going to take a bit of carving, but you can see what I mean in the sense of Right, so there's your V, and then you have a little pin just in the centre that I can sort of bore out with my knife. So when when that goes into the joint, it'll uh, sit in there and go into the centre. Right then, guys. So I was saying, I've um, created one of the joints, or started to create. Uh, put a centre pin in that, so that's what will be carved into the end of the in the end of the uh, V, I have a little pin, and then that'll go into the center of that down there, like that, and holding that in, especially when you get the tension of the string coming up. What I'll do is I'll quickly get this end piece here cut, and then that's the V of that, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the cracking, get the fire cooking, um, going, um, and then we'll see if I can carry on with that once the, uh, 
fire's going. I'm conscious of light. It's starting to dwindle now as well. So I'll come back to you once I've cut this other joint and we'll marry that up, fit that up and um, get the fire going. So I got the joints working. Um, I just need to cut the grooves for the string at the top um, and then I have to find something to wind the string, sort of carve itself up a nice sort of like um, piece of wood for sort of like twisting the string at the top. But we'll get this one cut up here. Sun's going down here pretty fast, so I think we'll be pretty much bang on for getting the saw made in time for the sun going down. But uh, we definitely wasn't weren't going to get much else done in that sense. So I'll get a bit of string here, and we'll get that sort of like tied up to length and uh, we'll see if we can put this saw together. Okay guys, so I got the main framework of the um, saw roughed out and built and uh, the string itself that I brought with me and things just isn't strong enough, it just broke. Um, so that's no good, it can't hold tension as soon as I put a, sort of any kind of tension in it just snapped. Got a bit of paracord in there, managed to get that sort of like squeezed in there and trying to get that ratcheted up. I think that'll work but first of all I'm just going to get the fire going here because um, it's getting dark, I'm getting hungry and we need to get some food on the go. All right so I'll join you once once the fire's back up and running and we'll get that going. Okay so you can see the bow working here. Just need to um, get a bit bigger. Piece of wood for that. But like I said it needs an awful lot of work and an awful lot of clean up and things. And work on like the handle and everything and joints. Just to make them that bit snugger and a lot of cleaning up to do. Um, but you can clearly see that uh, it will work. And we'll have a nice functioning bow saw. Unfortunately, it's got so dark here, I don't know if it's uh, showing on film, but it's got so dark that I don't really know that I can go out and test it a great deal, but um, I can always find something to test it on, I'm sure. I'm not sure if you can make it out, but I've got a piece of wood here. I've got the saw, so let's give it a go. Just need to work on the pegs, I think. A bit more tension. Still not quite enough tension in it. I can feel the blade bowing as I cut it. Thing is, the paracord it will.
stretch as well, isn't it? So it's not ideal. But... Sweet. Happy days. That's good. Does the job. Just need to clean it up, tidy it up, make it a bit more comfortable because that's not the most comfortable thing on your hand. But uh, she'll do. Okay. Oh, that fire's needed. It's nice. It's getting a bit cold now that the sun's gone down. I say, I'm not staying out here the night anyway, so I'm just uh, going to be away very shortly actually. But uh, anyway. Okay, guys, that's us for tonight. I'll catch you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed. Bye now.